everyone, I'm Noreen and welcome to my kitchen. And today, a quick and easy lunch, oven baked nachos. These are gonna clean out your fridge from any leftovers you might have, and they're gonna make a delicious lunch that you can share. So let's go see how these all come together. We're just going to go over all the ingredients now. I know y'all know how to make nachos, but I was going to throw some together for Rick and I for lunch today, and I thought, why not do a video? Because it's always fun to see how other people do things. Now, I have my oven preheated at 350 degrees, and this is kind of a kitchen sink or clean out the fridge kind of lunch because you can go in there and see what you have, and then you can use that on your nachos. So, last night for Mother's Day dinner, Rick and I uh, cooked up some filet mignon. This is that beef tenderloin that we bought at Sam's Club and it is absolutely delicious. Um, we had it for Easter and then we had it again last night. I just cut them into medallions and then Rick grills them off. But we had some left over so I cut it up a little bit and then we did some chicken breasts as well. So I cut some chicken up too. Um, I have an open jar of black beans that I canned myself in the fridge so we're going to put some of those on there. I have some shredded cheddar cheese and then just your basic um, salsa, sour cream, and I have some chopped raw onion. I like raw onion on mine. Rick probably isn't going to put any on his, but that comes later. So what we're going to do is I'm going to take some of these on the border cafe style um, nacho chips that we got um, at Sam's Club. We had in our last haul. These tortilla chips are really, in my opinion, superior. So I'm going to move some of this stuff out of the way and we'll just start building. Um, making them in the oven is really quite nice because you can just throw these on a pan and then start layering your cheese, your meat, and your beans. And then you pop this in the oven to melt the cheese. It's only going to take about 10 minutes. And then you can take them out and then you can just top it with whatever you like. So what I like to do is I like to make sure that the bottom of the pan is covered fairly well. Then I'm going to go in with the meats and just make sure that you distribute this pretty evenly. You just want to make sure that everybody gets a little bit on their chip. And then I'm going to go in with some cheese. And because these are going to be your nachos, you should put as much or as little on them as you choose. But remember. The more you load these up, the harder they're going to be to eat without a fork. So then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start to scatter some of these black beans. You can use pinto beans. I actually can pinto beans as well. Um, and I like a lot of beans on my nachos. I love that. These beans came out so nice. I had never canned black beans before, and um, I did these a couple of weeks back, and they're just, they're really delicious. And we're gonna go back in with another layer of chips, another layer of meat, and another layer of cheese. And that's it. Now I'm gonna pop these in the oven at 350 degrees. It's gonna take probably 10 minutes or so for all this cheese to melt, and then when we come back, I'll bring it out, I'll show you what it looks like, and we'll top it, and we'll serve it. All right, there we go. These were in the oven for just about 10 minutes and the cheese is all melty, the meat's heated through, the beans are heated through, and now it's time to do our topping magic. I'm just gonna put onions on half because Rick doesn't like the raw onion thing. And then we're gonna do some salsa. And then some sour cream. There you have it, delicious, quick oven baked nachos that you used what you had in your fridge to make. Um, everybody's gonna love these, honestly. You can make these any old way you want. You can make them to suit your own taste, and I know that everyone's going to enjoy them. So, if you like today's video, please consider 
giving me a thumbs up. If you're not already, please hit that big red subscribe button. And if you are already subscribed, please hit the bell button, which will send you a notification every time we upload a video, because we don't want any of you to miss out on all the real food for real people, real easy recipes that we present all the time right here on our YouTube channel and straight from our kitchen. I want to thank you for joining me today, and I hope you give these oven-baked nachos a try sometime soon, and I hope you love them. And until next time, I'll see ya.